Hello, followers. I'm at the drive-thru at Del Taco. Do you guys like Del Taco? Have you ever heard of Del Taco? It's Mexican food. I am here today to get a burrito. Yeah, a couple of them. There's these people over here in the drive-thru. They look like they're arguing, not having a great day. Kind of in a beat-up car, down on their luck. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're fine. But it did look like they were arguing a little bit. So I'm gonna pay for their meal. I've had people pay for mine and I get so surprised. It snaps me out of my mood. If I'm in a bad mood, I'm waiting for the people in front of me. I'm kind of like, oh wow, okay. Uh, there's goodness in the world <laughs> and uh, good things can happen. I just gotta get my wallet ready. And it kind of changes my mood. It's kind of nice. As long as it's not like 50 bucks, I will hope that that can cheer them up because it does look like they're kind of arguing back and forth it's a guy and a girl so see what happens the people behind me sorry the people behind me how much is theirs let me buy theirs too yeah it's 8.93 but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway hopefully it can lighten their mood the guy keeps like putting his head back and he looks angry uh, yes okay Okay, thank you. I'm gonna see if I can see them. That's the car back there. And it sounded kind of like a the car was having troubles. Anyway, I'm just gonna get out of there. I'm not gonna try to stick around and I don't want a thanks or really for them to know who I am. So let's go, let's get out of there. Here's another thing, when I see panhandlers on the side of the road, it's hard for me not to give them something, but I've just seen so many stories that I just don't know exactly where it's going. If I knew it was going to help them for real and not go to some kind of, you know, addiction or, you know, alcohol, drugs, whatever. Because I have seen guys out there that say, you know, their sign says, I'm not gonna lie, it's for beer. It's like, so hard. I don't want to support that. I like what, what uh, Shani and Danny do. I'm sure most of my followers are their followers, but uh, if you don't know who they are, Danny is a guy I work with, I've known for a long time now, and Shani has her own channel. It's called Educating Shani. They give out gift cards for food places, and uh, that way they know that it's going to a good place. I don't know why I'm on the charity thing because those people behind me they may not have needed charity but it sort of looked like they could use some some cheering up I don't know worth a try now and then they looked like they were in an argument a little bit okay I had to stop in my office for a little bit burning a few discs remember these things DVDs they actually used to uh, make instead of just HD stuff. So this is my office, this is my workstation. I do post-production editing, graphics, some DVD authoring, a little bit of sound. And uh, when I get bored, I watch the TV. And I have a little couch back here. That's Darth Vader. This is Chewbacca, that lamp. I've got a microwave and a, and a, a, a fridge and a stuff and alien masks. These are my alien masks, so people, want, when they come in the door, they can get scared. They can be scared off of my aliens. And uh, rack with some of the stuff. I typically do more on location production. And I haven't, this place has kind of been a crypt for a little while, as some people in the office may uh, know. Haven't been here for a little while. Due to production and health, just kind of been away. What else? Yeah, not much. Well, let's see. I do have a sound booth that I haven't set up. Um, I had this kind of like a little recording booth, glass side on one side, uh, all insulated, pretty, pretty dampened. Nice little recording booth. I used to have it in my other office, so I'd turn it around and we, you could sing or do voiceover and, and all that stuff. Anyway, avoid the noid. Hey, you remember these? This is mine. I had my Rubik snake here at my office. So just burning some discs and then, uh, <sighs> yeah. Got my DVDs, got my green screen, I'm gonna go. My electronically sealed door. <laughs> my office. Hey, oh, what I say, oh. 
I don't know the words to this, but it's a great song. I'd like to introduce you to another friend of mine. His name is Doug. Hey, how's it going? And he does lots of things. <laughs> Look at all these lots of things. Today we're being a video guy. Mm -hmm. It looks like I'm playing games when I'm actually controlling a camera. Whoa. What the? Doug is a gadget guy. Yeah. He is double deej on YouTube. Yeah. Got gadgets uh, on Instagram. Got gadgets on Instagram. Twitter. Uh, he has a, a good following on YouTube for all the technical aspects of live production and just all the gadgets and stuff that he's got piled up. He's also the owner of his own production company called DJP, Doug Johnson Productions. I've been camera operator for him as well as some other friends that Quite do productions. Times, yeah, concerts and corporate things and sporting events and um, it's just a lot of fun and he's always getting new gear so I'm here to check out the new gear this is one of them and that's another most of it is like 4k right yeah 4K, everything's 4k and of course he's he's setting up new things new toys we thought just for fun <clears throat> we got talking about uh, my cable. I have this little battery pack and this cable. I was like, oh, I can't vlog because the cable's broken. Doug says, I've got a treatment for that. So we're going to do like a live video. We're going to see what happens. I, I don't know. Stuff happens. <laughs> and we're going to try it. Yes. You just need $10,000 worth of switching gear and we're set. Ten. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, sorry. 20, 30, 40. 20. 25 right there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Dang! Uh, go watch what you can do to protect your cable. The link will be in the description. We'll be going live here in a few minutes. We're going to be working on a little something. Uh, not super important. It's just the universe. Just solving those problems. I wanted to mention uh, Doug's channel again. It's Double Deej. Yeah, D-O-U-B-L-E-D-E-E-J. And the link will be in the description, but he does a lot of reviews on tech. What, tell him what you do. Mostly video. I'm a, mostly reviews on video, production equipment, things like cameras, switchers, converters, you know, that kind of stuff. So, very techy, very nerdy. This gear is so fun to play with. Hey, boo boo. So we just made this on our live stream video and it saved my cable. Watch that video on how we did it. Oh, there's me over there. Switch to a, this shot. Hi. Okay, so we're just talking about pieces of his, Doug's equipment here. And I'm looking at this box and it's got numbers on it. Oh, and it sort of resembles the time. It's 12.04 here in 45 seconds. How much was something like that, Doug? <laughs> $500. $500. For a freaking clock. That's the, that's the most professional <laughs> clock you'll ever have, though. So why is it $500? Uh, because it's internet synchronized. It's accurate to supposedly always less than a, a tenth of a second, but it's supposed to be a lot more accurate than that even. So if uh, you want an accurate clock, you got to pay for it. And why do people pay big money for this? And um, who? Uh, internet. Anybody who's doing television broadcast, they have to have accurate clocks. Okay. Yeah, since we're maybe going to be trying to do that. Yes. There is good news. It was only five hundred dollars. The other options from other manufacturers, two grand and up. Wow. And it's run off of that one cable. Yeah, it's running off an Ethernet cable. <laughs> so if you're doing live broadcast, you want to be right up on time, and you want to be yeah, right show on goes, things. Show right? goes on at seven o'clock. We go at seven o'clock. Exactly. Sweet. It's early. Or late. Or late. Depending on your perspective. Good night. It's the end of the vlog. Please subscribe. Like. And comment. And. <laughs>
singing in the car. It's my turn to sing in the car. Oh, I'm going very far. I'm going to my home and I'm singing. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not singing on key, but I'm singing on different keys. I don't use keys for this car. It's like a key fob, really. <sighs> oh, I am very, I'm very singing. Can't tell how fast I'm going, it's covering the speedometer. <laughs> 